Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. If you're new, welcome, my name is Kay. I am a zero-based cash budgeter and on my channel, I cash flow my bills and some sinking funds. And I have also set a goal to save $10,000 this year. So I have included a savings challenges to help me reach that goal. Today we are going to be cash stuffing my third week of February's paycheck. Yay, payday, woo woo. It was very busy at the bank today, so I think a lot of people got paid today. And the kids, of course, are out of school, so it's very people-y outside. Um, but yeah, so we are ready to get going, so I hope you consider staying till the end, and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and jump right in. just want to start off and say thank you to everyone who tuned in to my Valentine's edition of Shut the Box. I had so much fun with Justin. Justin definitely appreciates everyone's um, well wishes. He was feeling absolutely terrible, but my God, he is a trooper. He did so well and he made me believe that it really didn't put him out that much. But after talking to him a couple of days later, he is just telling me now that he felt really bad. So thank you everyone for watching and supporting. That was super fun. I loved having him and I hope that he joins us on future videos. We should have $940. So let me go ahead and get my cash tray out. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a quick count. Let me get this a little easier for me to count with. All right. So uh, like I said, this is $940. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred. Let me do one more. And we're gonna save that 50. 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 850, 60, 70, 80, 90, 7, or 900. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. So 940 is all there. So we are going to start off in my pocket envelopes. Um, I definitely used every single penny. Uh, went out for groceries, went out for out to eat with Justin. We um, also had a couple of shopping trips, I think. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I'm going to scan these in, um, later for fetch and receipt hog and brand club. And we are going, oh, and I did get gas. So, um, that is super nice. If you guys are new to budgeting and need a referral code for the receipt apps here on the budgeting community, we scan our receipts to earn a little extra on our purchases at the stores. So if you are new, I will definitely have those linked down below so you can get a referral code, but I will take care of those later, maybe in an unstuffing video if I have time. So my pocket envelopes in my wallet, I have gas, miscellaneous, groceries, dining out, and entertainment. So gas is going to get $10 today. How are you guys doing? How was your week? Did you stay on budget? Did you overspend? Did you have any rollover and save some money? What did you do with it if you did roll over? And groceries is gonna get 40. I am so stocked up on food, you guys. I uh, did go to Costco last weekend, and so I'm not even sure I'll need those groceries, that grocery money, I mean. So dining out is just gonna get 10. That's a pretty 10, hold on a second. Let's use this 10. Dining out's gonna get 10. And this just kind of gets us a little something on the weekends when we're out doing our chores and our errands. And then entertainment is also gonna get 10. I try to keep my pocket envelopes, my wallet spending money very low because I'm able to save a ton more money when I don't have um, a bunch of money in my wallet. So the miscellaneous category is gonna get five and I'm gonna try and get the grubbiest fives I can find or grubbiest ones I can find here. Spend those first. And so oh I got one more that we needed. So this is five singles. One, two, three, four, five. And this just helps as a buffer in case I go over my four categories here. And that is all we have for my wallet. That is a total of $75 for my weekly spending. 
Okay, let's go ahead and start in my bills binder here and start with mortgage. Mortgage gets $603. So now mortgage has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 hundred, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're right on target. Wi-Fi gets 17. So it's a 10, a 5, and two ones. So Wi-Fi now has 10, 20, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, $55. All right, utilities is going to get 40 today. So now utilities has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, and five, 205. That is great. I did get my all my utilities in for the month of March. So if you are new here, I am a month ahead in my bills. So this is all for March. And so 205 is a really great spot to be in because I don't think I'm going to need all of that. Um, but I might actually, I might be getting really close. That might be really close. So Next week's stuffing may or may not all go into that category, but we will see. It's kind of nice having a little extra in utilities. Next up is my extra principal payment. This is going to my mortgage payoff. $60 goes in here every week. And I color in two um, balloons. So let me do, let me do, this color, I think. Put it down here. So two balloons. Each one of my balloons is worth 30. And this goes to helping pay down my mortgage. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 180. So my goal in this category is $240 as a payment at the end of every month towards my mortgage principal. And that helps keep the interest low towards the end of my mortgage term. And that is a win-win when you don't have to pay so much interest. Next up is my month ahead. I am saving to get two months ahead. And so I'm gonna color in one more square. Each one of my squares is worth $50. When I get to the end of this tracker, I will be six months ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, two months ahead. So we are $150 now in month ahead. So I try and save this as a sort of like an emergency fund in my bank account. $200 every month is great. Lawn care is gonna get skipped this week, but we are gonna touch it next week because I need to get some more weed killer. Streaming and penny challenge is over and we won't stuff the credit card because I will most likely do an unstuffing video for my weekly expenses. Um, let me see if I need to pay anything. This is my long term. And today I do think we are all kind of settled up here. I think what I wanna do is go straight into my short term binder and put my wellness reimbursement. I got $45 in wellness reimbursement. And so 2045 is going into wellness. If you hear any scratching, I am taking care of a beagle named Artemis. She is right next to my desk and she's trying to make a little nest for herself with the blanket that I put on the floor here because she loves to be right by my side. Um, so wellness now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 75, 85, 95, 96, 97, is that right? 197, yep, looks about right. If not, I'm sure I will, when I go and do my tracker, I will correct it. <laughs> So let me see real quick if there's anything else I missed off to the side here with my notebook. 
Okay, this is now ready. We are ready to play our Food Truck Fridays challenge. If you guys are new here, I started this little challenge to help me save my $10,000. I have the 100 envelopes challenge going and I also have this little challenge and I save any of my monthly challenges to go towards my, um, which that reminds me, I need to go do my no spend first. So that's really what I missed. I have a no spend category for every month. I track and pay myself $2 for the days that I spend. And then a dollar, I save a dollar on the days that I didn't. So this little cute tracker is down in my freebies. If you need a monthly no spend tracker, it is so much fun. So I haven't done this in quite a while. So let me grab my marker and let me get my little cheat sheet. Okay, so I have my little cheat sheet off to the side here. And we have not spent um, but four times. We I spent on the Wednesday the 7th. I think I went out with a friend. Um, Friday the 9th went out, I think, with Justin. Or no, I bought Valentine's Day supplies on the 9th. And then on the 10th, I went out with Justin. And then on the 14th, I um, bought some sushi for us for dinner. So I owe this tracker, I believe $17. Today is Friday the 16th. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't plan on spending today. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Because I believe I did not, I stopped on the third. So $17 is going into the no spend challenge. So 10, 15, 16, 17. I'm gonna exchange these five ones for a five. And it looks like I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the 20 and exchange the 10 and the fives. Cause I want small change for my food truck Fridays. So we have $20 now in February no spend challenge. All right. And now I believe we are ready to play. So, for February, I am working on two challenges. We have an IOU for my sushi roll and save, and then we have my Chinese food truck. So let's go ahead and grab some dice. And let me go ahead and take care of this IOU. It's a $4 IOU. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and I believe that is five singles. So we will take this back, put in a five, and I'm gonna go ahead and put these two fives down and grab the 10. So now Sushi has 20, 25, 30. All right, I just need to do a little cash condensing because I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of singles. So it looks that's as condensed as possible. So let me go ahead and get my little tray that I've sort of um, rigged up here because I'm waiting on, I believe, oh, you know what? I don't think I've checked out. So I heard a great piece of advice from someone on, in the YouTube budgeting community um, who referenced something that Ellie from Ellie on Earth said, that if you wanted to spend, some, spend money, the best way not to spend one, money was to tell yourself, that you'll buy it tomorrow. And so I have been working on that and um, hence the sandwich tray with some felt in it because I would really like a valet tray for my challenges. But for right now, um, I can buy it tomorrow. So we'll see. We'll see how long this little sandwich tray lasts. But let me see what I wanna do. I think I wanna roll this 12 sided dice for my sushi challenge. And I feel like I'm running out of space. So let me see if I can't rearrange here. All right, and I wanna get my cash in the, in the mix here. Sorry guys, I'm a mess, I'm all over the place. Okay, so I think we're this looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll the 12 solid dice. $8, so 
We'll make this little $8 sushi here. So five, six, seven, eight. My hope is to do two of each, but we'll see how far we get. Get my scratcher here. And let's do, um, actually, let's do this one. Ah, it is a nether fortune cookie, which is good. Love that. That's a $5 scratch. So let's put $5 down. And let's go ahead and scratch another one. Let me scratch this one here in the center. Ooh, good, good, good. Okay, so this is a bowl of either rice or noodles, I can't tell which, and it is worth $2. So I think we're gonna stop at two on this one. So one, two. And let's go ahead and roll the eight-sided dice again. Let me see how much money we have left. Ooh, we have 10, $14, perfect. So we might be able to do more. Okay, let's see what we roll. Five. All right, looks like we can go three rounds today. Yay! All right, so let's do a scratch off. Oh, let's do a scratch off here. So let's go ahead and do, let's see. I'm afraid of getting a $10 takeout box, so how about this one here? Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, we are done for today because I believe I'm gonna need an IOU. <laughs> ah. All right, so $10 in the scratch and save. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a $1 IOU in this one. I'm gonna go ahead and get my money figured out. I do love this cute little challenge. This is from Jess over at Toe Bean Budgets. If you are new to her channel, I'm linking her stuff in her Etsy and her um, YouTube channel down in my description. She's awesome, I love her to death. Um, so Jess, this was super fun. I have an IOU today of $1. So let me see if I can just scribble this out and put a one. And we are done with Food Trucks Fridays for today. My goal with these trackers, or with these challenges, is to save at least $100 per challenge. So, um, I don't think I wanna count this. I wanna save this to the end. So, we are done, you guys. That went by fast. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I wanted to give everyone a big heartfelt thank you for helping me get to 1,000 subscribers. I reached this milestone on Valentine's Day, which made my day so special. I appreciate everyone so much. It was actually quite a bit of a surprise. I was at work and I was just noticing all of the increase in my subscription, my new subscribers. And um, it was I was like, what is going on? So I think some of you have shared. I know Cru um, Kathy over at Cruise Budgets shared to help get me to 1,000. Thank you so much, Kathy, for that. I think, Danae, you did the same. I appreciate every one of you so, so much. I am, I do have an update. So I have been, so I have been tracking my YouTube monetization off camera, but I am definitely um, going to get monetized maybe next month because I do have my 4,000 watch hours and I do have my um, 1,000 subscribers. So thank you guys. I am looking forward to seeing how YouTube monetization works. Um, they did ask for my tax information this morning, so I did give them that. But thank you guys so much for that. I truly appreciate every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you guys soon. I am going to be cash stuffing my Friday freebies next, so stay tuned for that. All right, you guys. Bye for now.